Hello everyone. Uh, this is Jagdish, Assistant Professor of EC Department, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. And uh, here we are going to discuss about the artificial intelligence and machine learning as our uh, uh, video lecture series. The very first unit of this artificial intelligence and machine learning is fundamentals of machine learning. The first topic is introduction to uh, machine learning. So come, let's get into the topic. So before getting into the uh, topic machine learning, why it is important? That is very, very, uh, very, very essential thing we supposed to know. So machine learning can reduce cost, mitigate risk and improve quality of life by recommending products, services, detecting cybersecurity, breaches and enabling self-driven cars. It became more common and will soon integrate too, into too many facts of life. So, um, so not only uh, these, uh, I mean, applications, the machine learning, which is uh, very uh, versatile applications are there. So including the many domains, agriculture, even agriculture, education, uh, cyber security, and many things. So, so like this, right? So machine learning is a popular subfield of uh, artificial intelligence and used in various fields, including healthcare, finance, infrastructure, marketing, self-driven cars, recommendation systems, chatbots, social sites, gaming, cyber security, etc. So because of these reasons, we are moving into the machine learning uh, concept. Okay. So this is the thing why we are going for the machine learning. And machine learning is critical uh, because it allows business to interrupt customer behavior trends and understand business operation patterns in a broader context. Furthermore, today's top companies such as Facebook, Google and Uber are prioritizing machine learning in their operations. So, what is actually a artificial intelligence? So, as I said, um, so the artificial intelligence includes the machine learning. Right? It's a subdomain of artificial intelligence or machine learning. So, when you are talking about the machine learning, obviously the artificial intelligence we supposed to consider. Okay. So, what is artificial intelligence? That is actually called as AI. Uh, so, AI refers to simulation of approximation of human uh, human intelligence in machines. The goals of artificial intelligence include computer enhanced um, I mean learning, reasoning and the perception. So this is called an artificial intelligence. And uh, um, the subdomains of artificial intelligence includes natural language processing that is NLP uh, and computer vision, cognitive computing, machine learning and deep learning. Okay, now let's see. So, so far we discussed why machine learning and what is artificial intelligence now what is actually a machine learning so machine learning is subfield of artificial intelligence that uses algorithms trained on data sets to create models that enable machines to perform tasks that would otherwise only be possible for humans such as categorizing images analyzing data or predicting uh, price fluctuations so how does uh, this machine learning works so here we are giving some input data past data and by using that we will be training the machine right we, we have uh, several algorithms to train the uh, machine and uh, we will be going to uh, build a logical model right? and the output so this is the uh, machine learning how uh, this is the way the machine learning works and uh, let us see on classroom activity there is uh, some uh, number puzzle so find the uh, i mean the unknown value uh, which is uh, here mentioned as star. So when you look at the uh, machine learning timeline, so from uh, 70, 1764, Bayesian theorem is published and 1842, uh, Adolf Lovelace lays the foundation of the first algorithm. Then uh, Boolean logics were uh, I mean, uh, uh, developed and 1936, uh, Alan Turing uh, proposes a machine that can learn. So uh, this is in 1936 only. It was, uh, I mean, uh, described. And 1952 creates the first computer program at IBM. And 1959 uh, the first artificial neural network is created. So likewise, from uh, that starts from 19, uh, 1764 to 2018, there are several inventions and several uh, statements, several laws were proposed uh, towards the machine learning.
So why we used to machine learning means that when you look at a traditional approach, we will be studying the problem and we will be writing the rules and we will evaluate. So if the, evaluate, uh, the evaluation has errors, again, we have to study the problem and again, uh, we have to write the se separate rules, uh, different rules uh, as because uh, the previous pro previous evaluation is went wrong, right? So again, we have to write the new rules and again, we have to give the evaluate. If the evaluation is good, uh, there is no error, then the final product will be launched. This is a traditional way of approach. Uh, in the case of machine learning approach, we will be this, uh, the pro problem will be studied and it will be given to the uh, machine learning model. Uh, by using the given data, set of data will be given to the model to train the uh, model and it will evaluate the solution, if it's the error, again the same thing, the process will be continuous and if it is okay, if there is no error, the final product will be launched. And uh, here, uh, machine learning helps the humans to learn. Here, uh, study the problem, train ML algorithm, is the machine learning algorithm, so a lot of data will be given and the solution, inspection of solution, again, understand the problem in better way. So uh, here, the, the very important thing is the machine learning. The machine learning will will, uh, will do the process uh, till the accurate data will be comes out the output. And uh, so this is the way why we are going for the machine learning uh, method. And uh, applications uh, of machine learning, I said in the first very first slide itself, there are versatile applications are there irrespective of the domain like uh, here listed is automatic language translation medical diagnosis stock market trading online fraud detection virtual personal assistant email spam and malware uh, filtering self-driven cost product recommendation traffic prediction speech recognition image recognition so like this very uh, more the versatile applications are there and even uh, now we, we are we are all very familiar with the uh, chat gpt so the chat gpt the beginning the chat gpt there are so many algorithms as well uh, all are there this, so that will comes under the machine learning concept only so let us uh, take the assessment uh, so what is the need of ai uh, what are the difference between ai and ml list the subdomains of ai list a few day-to-day uh, -day applications of ai what is the expected growth of AI in the year of 2024? Thank you.